So, with that, um, should we try, let's, let's try looking at the map code, seeing if we can connect. So we have rooms, right? Um, we don't have anything more than rooms. Um, <laughs> and the other thing we need to do with bracket lib is to define, we have to create map data so that we can start and that's in bracket. Where's my bracket? I got too many tabs. Oh, it's cross term. Let's look at um, bracket lib. There's, yeah, and the documentation on bracket lib is minimal, but there's this whole. Um, creating a roguelike using bracket lib. Um, and then there's, right. There's a way that in the, in the, um, the map you, you implement, uh, you know, I got it right over here. You implement algorithm 2D for map, you implement base map for map, and then basically it passes in an index into the map. And it's you say whether or not the tile is opaque. And then for every map location, you also return whether or not you can, where you can go from there. Um, there's also this pathing distance. So implementing these, this base map, base map is a, uh, comes out of bracket lib. Oh, bracket algorithm traits, right? So this is, tells you whether or not you can see through the tile. This tells you whether or not you can go in one direction from a given tile and then the distance this returns the distance for um, calculating uh, distance between tiles um, and what does our, our map look like right now all, all I have is rectangles so I don't have like a an actual map map so this generates a bunch of rooms and then what we're doing is we're drawing the rooms and in our tick code just by calling map draw so i think i think the right thing to do here is to create a right we 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 want a map a drawable map which contains all of the floors and walls and stuff like that and it also contains whether or not we we've seen it before you know all the all of the fun stuff Right, because right now all I'm doing is drawing the rectangles and putting a number at the top, saying what what that rectangle is. Um, so I want to create actually then map. I want to create a trait that I can use to implement multiple map types, and the trait would have its own draw function. Um, <laughs> and then it would implement ooh do we want to do it that way we want a trait for map generation and we want a an actual struct for the map so that we can do the um, implement base map and all that kind of stuff for, for bracket lib okay um yeah so first things first we have a struct map this should be a, a struct map generator um, because struct map has to have a vec of tiles and right now i'm just going to put a bool in there
and then impl this is impl map generator right and then draw should be part of the map so we can do that close off that and then say impl map Right, and now we don't have rooms. That's that's the thing. We don't have rooms. So so the map generator generates all the rooms, but then it needs to return a map. Okay, and then the map is going to be. We do need a width and a height for the map. I'm going to leave this part alone for now, um, but obviously we don't need to store those anywhere. Right? So then map, then we're going to return a map. Um, let my map close. New. Right? And then we're going to have pub on new self and that's just going to return a self of um, boom, boom tiles with height oh we need a width and height right width i32 and height i32 so tiles in fact new and then width and height Right. Oh, Mantra says, so you have one map per game or do you go from one map to another? Um, so the way it's going to work eventually is that there will be um, several levels of maps. So right now I'm just trying to get a map working um, and nothing more than that. And then eventually we'll have a map storage resource where we can retrieve maps for different levels. And then the map generator. Right now, the map generator just generates a bunch of square rooms, um, but obviously we want different kinds of maps depending on what we're looking for. There might be like a, a spaceship map or a caverns map or something like that. Mantra says, when you start using an ECS, you really need to think about everything in terms of an ECS because it's almost impossible to retrofit later without rewriting it. Yeah, so what I'm I'm thinking is that, that the map storage would be a resource that contains just a vector of all the maps that have been visited and we'll be able to update those. The maps themselves are just going to be tiles. So it's when we get to like the uh, mobs that we're going to need entities and the player. We don't even have a player right now, right? So at some point we'll do that. Um, so we have width and height here. And then we're gonna have a um, and this just returns map. All right. Still not happy with whatever I'm doing. Oh, that's why. Okay. I'm interested saying st start with a system to generate the map and create the types around it. Oh, that's interesting. The system is going to be like a run. So they, there must be run one systems, right? Uh, or. So if so some there'll be a map that gets created when you start the game and then if you switch to a different level there would have to be a, something that triggers a yeah so this is a startup system but then we would need to be able to trigger map generation So if I go back to main here, 
Um, right now I'm just creating a map. How am I doing it? Oh, right here, map generate. So what I should be doing is, is scheduling a startup system that generates the map and inserts the map as a resource, right? So I can move with stage startup. And then, so there's, there must be different kinds of system stages, right? Wow, there's a lot. There's single, single threaded parallel, get executor, set executor with system, add system, add system inner. Is there an add startup system? Exclusive at start systems. Exclusive at end systems. Oh, well, this is just at the start of a stage. Initialize systems. Rebuild orders and dependency. Okay, so these are all private functions now. So we've run out of um, There's only three, parallel, single threaded, and single. Okay. Well, so basically it would be moving this into a system. Um, these, these two lines here. So I'm gonna keep them here for now just so I can get my map code work. Oops, where's my map? I just wanna get my map code working. So right now we, we do this, we create a new mutable map and then we're gonna go for each map, um, sorry, for each room, we're going to draw the room in the map. Um, so map dot tiles of, and we have the width and the height. Oh, so for room and rooms, and then we're gonna say for And room is a rect, and there's, I think rect has an iterator, right? Where we can iterate over every, I really need to keep better track of my, my windows here, bracket lib, um, rect. I'm sure that's all over the place, unfortunately. Oh, there, here it is. That was fast. Um, there's an iterator for it, isn't there? For each. So we get back an XY. Uh, and we put it in there. Okay, so room for each um, point. And all we want to do is say map dot tiles of point dot X. I think I think that's what that is, right? Yeah, point dot x and point dot x is a i32, so we need to convert it to a u size, um, and then okay. Plus point dot y times width, right? As u size equals true. Um, expect it, oh, I didn't return map. Okay, so now in draw, we don't have rooms anymore, right? All the rooms go away. Oh, right, I was, I was trying to see this the viewport here. Okay, so we have a start X, a start Y, and a viewport. So we're getting, the start X and start Y are the locations of the map we're trying to draw, and the viewport is where we're drawing it on the screen.
Uh, and now we can't do a, a, an intersect anymore. All right, because all of this goes away. And instead, we're going to say for uh, viewport for each, because that's a rect add point. And then we have a little thing here and like that. Okay. So um, the viewport point is going to be different to the start X, start Y, right? And this is where we do this, this business here. And we have to grab the data out of the map tile. Okay, but we need to capture them mutably. X equals start X, and Y equals start Y. Uh, let index is equal to X plus Y times self width. And that's the index into the tile that we want to draw. And the viewport point is where we want to draw it. Um, Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that simple. Because when we wrap to the next line, we need to get to the next start X. So we need to actually calculate the offset of the viewport like we did here. Except we don't want a, a rec, we want start X. So we want, um, What's the value we want? Start X could be like 2020, for example. Viewport's gonna be 1, 1. So that means we want to put map X 20, Y 20 at viewport 1, 1. And then when the viewport, right, so then we need we need to calculate what our index based on the viewport should be. Hmm, okay. My brain is, is having a little difficulty here. So, so if I look at, if I just make a little ASCII diagram here. This is the viewport that we're drawing to. This location here is the upper left-hand corner of the viewport, and it's going to be 1-1, one, one, right, based on this here. We're going to be drawing it. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right, so this is the 1-1 one, one viewport, but now this, this map location, this map coordinate is different. Mentra says you want the rec to be a component on the map entity. Map should be an entity with a rec component and a level component. And the system for, should query for the map components. And you can iterate through them all at the same time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so when we get to things that have positions, um, we will, iter yeah, so when we actually draw the screen with all the entities on the screen, or the mobs on the screen. Um, yeah, I'll definitely be doing that. Right now, all I want to be able to do is, is I'm converting the map from, it's just an array of rooms to uh, an array of tiles. So I didn't, I, I, I want to get to that stage first. And once I have that, then I'll be able to go, go a little further. Um, and I'm just having difficulty wrapping my brain around 
are um, how to get the current maps XY location based on the start X and the viewport. I think it's viewport um, dot X1 and Y1, right? Sub subtract that as the base. And then add start X and start Y. So point, so let map X is equal to point X minus viewport dot X1 plus start X. And then let map Y is point Y minus viewport Y1 plus start Y. And I think that gives us the index. So that IDX is equal to map X plus map Y times self width. And then we can just say if self tiles IDX as U size, then CTX dot print um, point dot X point dot Y. I think that's all we need to do. Let me get rid of that. Um, generator. Okay, now we have a whole bunch of warnings. Oh, because I've got code in there that I don't I don't need anymore. I don't need these guys. Okay. Does this even work? It does not. Unreachable. Panic bounce check. What did I break? Wow. Oh, I'm setting this thing here. Um, um, I should create a vec new. Um, how do I create a vec with, with a whole bunch of falses, right? It's like false, but you can't do it this way, right? Can I do that? Expect to use some, oh, maybe I can do this. There we go, okay. Well, it's doing something. It's not perfect because it's it's drawing too far down, right? So the v, uh, my viewport calculation is not right, um, and it's drawing too far over. It's drawing on top of the FPS thing, so it's not perfect. I wonder what. I wonder if that's um, this thing is for each. Maybe that's inclusive instead of exclusive. I just need to adjust the viewport. All right, I can change that to 3722. Because if it's inclusive, then that's that. Okay, I'm moving. But I'm not seeing anything on the screen. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there's a room. Oh, I can't go down. Oh, you know what I can do is I can go back up here and then try to look. Yeah, okay. So now we got we do have the gap over here. Yeah, for each calls every point, but I I thought so th the way I had been drawing it, right? It was an exclusive um, it was not including that last row or last column and last row. Um, and now it is because er, because for each calls is goes on every point in the rect. Yeah, okay, now it's working. Yeah, 
Okay. All right, so we're at this point now that we're, we can actually create maps with tiles. And obviously we're not gonna use bool as a tile, right? Because we're gonna have a bunch of different tile types. You know, right now it's just wall or floor, but there should also be um, like stairs and doors and all that kind of stuff. And yes, Mantra, I will be changing everything over to be using a um, uh, systems and components and entities and things like that. But I just wanted to get this working with tiles. Um, so we have a map generator and then we have a map and then we, we can implement the base map. I'm not going to do it now. I just want to see if this complains. Oh yeah, okay, so there's default Im implementations for base map. All right, that's fine. All right, so git status, and I think I'm going to wrap this the stream up here. And source git commit dash m convert map to using tiles instead of arrays vectors of rooms. And let's push that up. Okay, so there's where we are today. Next week.